Welcome back to Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists. Today, we talk to the people behind the industry of Hollywood. Uh, you might say that if directors are the backbone, uh, actors are the eyes, writers are the mouth, well, these guys, these guys are the liver. We're talking to gossip columnists. Storytelling goes a long way, and so do the storytellers themselves. The story behind the cameras, who's doing who, who's making what, and who is divorcing who. That's right. We're getting nitty-gritty today with our gossip columnist. Perhaps you've heard through the grapevine what gossip columnists do, but today we're going to find out. So gather those ears up and let's listen in. Are we on? Yeah. Hey, what's up? What's up, guys? What's up? Yeah, we're we on. Everybody? We're what's on. up, everybody? How's it going, guys? How are you? What a joy to be together. I mean, it's, mm. I feel like a lot of us do solo work where I'll work alone, and it's really nice to be around other people who are who are out in the fields like we are. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Should we, should we go around? Yeah, let's do it for sure. Okay, well... I am Lady Poppy. I run a, uh, a a gossip Instagram of sorts, and I have my ear to the ground of all the goings on in Hollywood and beyond. And I like to post my news in little riddles in my Instagram story. <laughs> And people sort of piece them together and message me uh, what they think the news is. So that's my story. And I have 2.4 million followers. I love love your riddles. Thank you. And the Instagram page is called Poppy Herd. They they call you the the rupee cower of Hollywood gossip. (laughs) It's true, because I always draw a little flower at the end. <laughs> the flower is my favorite part. I do you... all those myself, by the way. Hmm. Could you give us an example of like uh, maybe one of your one of your gossip things? Oh, of course. So the other day I heard a fluffing. Alexander Skarsgard went a muffin shopping at this <laughs> dandy location <laughs> and then i wait <laughs> and what are what? you waiting for exactly <laughs> i'm waiting for someone to get it right because this is a little game for me was it bones <laughs> it was ralph's <laughs> I was so close. <laughs> you were very close. Not a lot of people. You would be surprised at how many people guessed Vaughn's. But and that's, no. Yeah, that's hot goss. Alexander Skarsgård at a Ralph's. I mean, that I, I can't believe I didn't hear that. That came from you. That's crazy. Yes, of course. Well, we could get into this later. But what I think is, and I'm curious to know if you guys think this is a problem, I feel like... Everyone is getting more private nowadays, you know? And so it's mm. it's tougher to find the meatier stories. Mm, yeah, definitely. Anyway. That's how I feel. Um, well, I'll go next. Hey, guys, what's up? My name is Harley Dawn. Harley Dawn is my name. And I run uh, something called TMZ Jr. Uh, you've heard of TMZ, but have you heard of TMZ <laughs> Jr.? Well, get ready. We have all the hot goss and fun pics of junior celebrities. We are looking for kids with secrets, kids with crushes, kids peeing their pants. These are all things you'll find in TMZ Junior. I love TMZ Junior. I love that it's allowed to exist. Yeah, now, yeah. well, that's a question. That, you know, we yeah. started this about a couple months ago and we have been trapped in uh, litigation since. Um, are you guys doing like, like, is this like J14? And you know, like uh, you know, all Tiger those... Beat. Tiger Beat. You work kind with Tiger of, Beat? kind of Tiger Beat, but it's a little <laughs> more salacious than that. I mean, we're looking for crushes. We're looking for goss. We're looking for hot stories, but not sexy stories. Specifically, not sexy stories. I mean, hot in terms of 
how sizzling hot the story is. Not in a sexual way. Sure. I think my question is more like, are you dealing with uh, like Disney Channel stars or like kids at the playground that are normal kids? I'm dealing with kids like Jacob Tremblay and really mostly just Jacob Tremblay. We okay. are dealing with a lot of Jacob Tremblay and a lot of the other Disney Channel stars and a bunch of kids like that. That's what we want got to aim for. Are, are not kids, not kids. Young stars. Sorry. Not kids, young stars. But yeah. they are kids too. No, well, not in our magazine. They're young stars. If we say kids, we get in trouble. And so I would just actually like that ripped from the record. Okay. Yeah. All right. I didn't know what... If we're if we're doing this on and off the record bullshit, this is gonna be this is gonna be hard for the editors because I know us we survive off and on the record. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. We live yeah. by it. You know my my sources really trust me. If if they say something's off the record, I gotta keep it off the record. You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, I should introduce myself. My name is uh, Terrence Pell, and uh, I uh, actually work for uh, the Hollywood Inquisitor. And uh, more specifically, I work uh, in the executive gossip level. Um, <clears throat> so it's not necessarily the sexiest gossip, but, uh, you know, y- hearing that uh, uh, one specific VP of a studio is potentially getting lower dividends than another person, it's, <laughs> it's really thrilling stuff for me. It's really exciting. And, and I've seen a lot of really, really wild stuff in my day. <laughs> and uh, wow. I think... I think when you guys get a little older and you start looking into it, you're gonna say, "Wow, you're you're gonna be really happy that Lawrence was there, or Terrence. Sorry, you're gonna be happy that <laughs> Terrence. Lawrence is my secret name when I'm uh, when I'm submitting anonymously. That's one of my secrets to come out. So. Oh, you have a oh. So the Hollywood Inquisitor. Remind me, is that just for? Executive secrets, or are there um celebrity secrets as well? It's mostly executive secrets. Um, it's the uh, it's Soho. Um, it's Soho Works' exclusive uh, exclusive <laughs> <laughs> magazine. Not you only, the house. You can you can't read it at Soho House. You can only read it at the very specific Soho <laughs> Works, no. which is kind of a, a wee workspace for Soho. Um, and there's a couple of them. It's more of an office space. Um, and and it's it's the sole magazine of Soho Works. So it's a lot of industry executive gossip, and then uh, kind of what snacks are what snacks are in the fridge that day, and, and where are you supposed to put the glasses after you use them? It's a lot of ah. stuff like that. Now, <laughs> are you a Soho Works member? I am not. I'm not. I'm 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 uh, I'm a junior attaché is what they call it. Somebody who's allowed in to just if they have business with the business. But I can't do any other business there. <laughs> so, so you cannot network. <laughs> no, and I don't want to network. You know, I've seen the bad side of networking, and and honestly, I I'm I'm allergic to it. You know, I won't network. I won't network. If uh, you know, I've seen what networking does. Networking ruins lives. Somebody pitches something that ends up taking them somewhere else, and then all of a sudden, you see that their back end points are, are different than somebody else's back end points, and all of a sudden, they're trying to scrape by and cut budgets of different projects, and, and they become the bad guy. And I've seen that story happen time and time again. I mean, <laughs> you've probably heard that story. It's a tale as old as time. And I, I don't know if I've read that anywhere. That's, I don't think I've read that, no. That's interesting. I'll, have to, I'll yeah. have to check that out. I'll send you several articles I've written about it. It's just a trend you see over and over and over again. But again, it's really thrilling, you know, when, when, you, when you notice that somebody has discrepancies in their dividends, it's, it, it, it can really <laughs> send the whole industry into a tizzy. <laughs> So that, that's kind of the gossip wonderful. that you're looking for, that's is wonderful. kind of discrepancies. In, just in the it. juicy stuff, just the exciting stuff. A lot of discrepancies, um, a lot of a lot of pre litigation, and and a lot of cons- consultations. You know, if I, <laughs> I'll tell you what, I get high off of finding out about secret consultations because those <laughs> can really lead to something. <laughs> wow, uh, that's. I mean, it's riveting to hear. I want to hear more about dividendsy, but for now, I'll introduce myself. My name is. Uh, my name is Pat Fines. Um, I'm also known as uh, General Private. Nothing's private is what they call me. Um, at page six, where I've been working, I'm a photojournalist, a photographer, a pap, a paparazzi. I've uh, been working in the industry for 15 years. 
I primarily do uh, bikini pics of women running on their vacations. Oh, and wow. I take a picture. I sit, on, I sit on the beach. I get flown to different resorts. I hide in beaches. I hide behind trash cans. I hide under towels. And I get pictures of women looking awful. And I expose them. <laughs> and I uh, feed my children with that money. Wow. So you know how to wow. be a sleuth a little bit. You, know, you must know every beach's secret. Oh, yeah. I've hidden in places you've never seen at the beach because it's so hidden. Um, I've built a whole sandcastle to get a picture of Eva Longoria. I had to, uh, I, I buried myself, had my kids bury me like it was a fun bit, but just so I could see through the, through the lens um, and got those pictures that paid me 50 grand. <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what are you looking for when it comes to uh, finding that uh, unattractive pose? Are they just yeah. coming out of the water? Is it, are they picking yeah. something up? How do you really find that exact moment? I'll tell you how I do it. I, I owe my whole career to photographers who make women look gorgeous because the more they do it, the more I work with the negative space, I do what they don't do, right? Oh, so wow. anytime someone makes a woman look gorgeous, I'm trying to find her looking um, not gorgeous, which means natural, right? That's what that's what our industry lives off of. So if I can get a woman uh, walking in a non-walking fashion pattern, just walking normally, um, if I can get anything that looks god awful, um, that is where my business lives off of. I hope to God someone stretches weird. Um, when they mm. stretch weird or they hear a weird sound or um, I, I hope to God these women have big lunches so they're bloated so I can expose their asses <laughs> and make millions and millions and millions of dollars. Do you ever wow. work with any, any sound doctors, you know, people that come in and, 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 and are good at making weird sounds to kind of throw them? Uh, I've done that a little bit, but I like to do all my own work in house, mm. um, so I can just keep continue to own every bit of the dollars that I earned off of exposing women's bodies. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, can I ask a question really quick? Uh, I what I what I'm really excited about is to see kind of maybe what gossip you guys have. <laughs> I'm always looking for more, uh, specifically if you've got kid. Sorry, young star gossip. Young star gossip, not children. I'm not looking for. Gossip about kids. I'm looking for gossip about young stars. So. Harley, be careful. I think I've seen some drool come out of your mouth. It feels like it's going to get close to your microphone. I'm just wondering if you if you have any gossip. Uh, who's the head over there at your your place of work, TMZ? Now, is TMZ owned TMZ Jr.? No, we are completely different. What are you guys doing? <laughs> you guys aren't related in any Not way. Not related at all, and that's another litigation we're going through. <laughs> TMZ is currently suing... Uh, us bad us bad over at TMZ Jr. We just didn't know we thought it. W we are trying to say in the law that it is just a random assortment of letters that Right I actually think I've seen your bus on Hollywood Boulevard it's a little smaller than the regular TMZ bus and you've sort of spelled it phonetically as in T-E-E-A M-E-H Z-E-E -E. yeah Yes. And then the full word junior. <laughs> junior. Yes. Yes. It's so dizzying to look at. And I think that's spectacular. <laughs> Thank well, and you. you. And speaking of buses, you have the TMZ Junior Hollywood <laughs> Tour. I've yes, seen that we as have well. the TMZ. Yeah, so where are you guys going on that? <laughs> <laughs> we are going all over the place. So much fun. We're going to the children's hospital. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing when you get to the children's hospital after you park? <laughs> oh, is the rock at the children's hospital? I hear he spends time there. We wouldn't know. That's not a person I'm interested in. <laughs> oh, please do shoot me an Instagram message if you see The Rock at the Children's Hospital. I will let you know if I see a giant bald man that looks like The Rock, I'm not going to take a photo. I'm not going to talk about it. We only talk about young stars. Um, so if The Rock is there, though, I will shoot you a direct message. So oh, who please. are you looking for at the children's hospital? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you park the bus and you walk inside, where are you going? Look, kids get sick all the time. You never know who you'll see. <laughs> but typically not the famous kids. The not famous, the famous kids ones. typically aren't getting sick as much. Have we seen a kid 
famous child. Sorry, have we seen a famous young star walk into the children's hospital yet? No, but I think it's important to for the audience that's on the tour to understand this is a place where children go. And this is a place where more, young I'm, stars could go as well. I'm going to ask you one last time. You park that big bus and you walk in those doors. And, and when you walk in the doors, do you just start walking through the halls? I say we walk through the halls and we're just looking. <laughs> and I say, and I say, well, look it. I w- would I take them to a regular hospital? No, <laughs> you wouldn't see young stars there. So why would I take? Why, <laughs> if we're gonna go to a hospital, it's gonna be a children's hospital. <laughs> There's still kids at normal hospitals too. I, I think you. I think you should open that. I don't a think. Bit. I don't think that's true. I just don't think that's true. <laughs> because if if there were kids okay, at we'll a normal hospital, they would say that. <laughs> they would let us know. They would oh, say, you mean would in the title that? of the hospital, the hospital they would say the that? The title would say Adults and Children Hospital. <laughs> if it's called a children's hospital, then you know. <laughs> oh, Harley, let me tell you something. An urgent care? Kids can go to those too just because it doesn't say kids urgent care. No, no. I don't think you guys are right here, but I do respect you. I mean, if you want to... <laughs> Thank you. If you Yeah, thank you. If you want to jump on the tour, you can. So let's get back to it. Who's got some gossip, huh? Well, I have some juicy gossip if you guys are ready for it. Come on, Terrence. Let's hear it. Please, please. Well, let's just say a certain acquisition by a certain (laughs) multi-million dollar uh, business company is facing a couple bit of delays because (laughs) the... (laughs) Not a couple say, bit of delay. It's racing a couple bit of delays because uh, the legal team on the other side has found a couple gray areas in the contract. And what, what kind of gray is areas? that? Well, the gray areas refer to specific time periods for certain projects to be released and picked up. Just and say the name. Just say the name. It's like I'm you're telling dying me nothing. for you to say the name. Please. <laughs> Well, it's I, just it's this is any business going through anything. Terrence couldn't tell you the name, but Lawrence might be able to tell you the name. So okay. here comes Lawrence. If you guys want to get out your your um your your emails, I will email you all what Lawrence said, and you can read it. <laughs> if we okay. get out our emails, <laughs> get out your email addresses, and I'm I've just sent the email, and you guys can read it yourselves. I didn't say it, but Lawrence oh. told it to you. I mean, I'll say this. Lawrence, Terrence, whatever you are. What I'm is Terrence. The naughty <laughs> guy is Lawrence. <laughs> okay, this email has a PDF attachment that's 56 pages. <laughs> do I do I read all of that? Oh, yeah, that's where all the good stuff is. What's uh, the headline? What's, what's the footnote? <laughs> what's the footnote here? Or the what's subject the name. The subject of it. The TLDR. Yeah, yes. right now the PDF, the email just says the subject line is PDF dot PDF. Too long, don't read. Well, let me just tell you, okay? Let me give you the the, the little <laughs> scoop. All right, let me break it all down for you. Long story short, you're gonna start seeing a couple more of a popular franchise if the deadline for the rights doesn't run out. <laughs> Okay, it's that could so be any Spider-Man. franchise. Is that's, it Spider-Man? That's how franchises work. That is how franchises work. <laughs> but you know what? I respect what you do. I respect what you do, Terrence, because you take a little bit and you go a long way. Be honest with us. You have. It sounds like you have a kernel of information. Oh, no, just... I have it all. I have it all. <laughs> I, you... I'm, I, and you should see some people find what I just told you guys so exciting there's literally certain places you at Soho Works where you can't read the magazine because they've been throwing it up so high because they get so spooked by what I'm saying. It sticks into the ceiling. And the people above it, people above it, they get really mad. And, and, and they, they, had, they write strongly worded emails to, the, to the, uh, the people working at the desk. So they, there's a specific area you can read my magazine. So I'm sorry. What the hell is your magazine made out of that they can throw it up and it gets stuck in a ceiling? Also, when I'm spooked by something I read, I don't throw it. (laughs) Well, you're not a Soho Works member. I mean, these people, they're a very specific type of person. It's so crazy, Uh. this news, what I'm telling them. It's made out of paper, but it's a lot of paper, and and the binding is really sharp at the end because they don't have... um, 
they don't have the price to make a, a square binding. They have to. They just triangle have to staple binding. it together. <laughs> yeah, they do triangle binding. It, again, this is really thrilling stuff for the people I'm talking okay, to. Okay, okay, well, please, think... somebody else give me some gossip. Please, <laughs> somebody. Okay, okay. I have some gossip that was okay. sent in by a certain okay. user. So, Timothy Chalamet mm. might Chalamet say he was at this no. California pizza <laughs> no. what? Kitchen. California pizza what? <laughs> You're telling me that Timothy Chalamet was at a CPK? Now, I didn't say that. Well, hold that. on a minute. That, that, that rhymed. That was, that was kind of a little bit of a rhyme there. Why didn't you use that? Which Timothy Chalamet a... at a CPK. Oh, well, you know, sometimes the rhymes come to me a bit later. I'll post and then I'll be in the shower six hours later yeah. and then I go, oh, shoot. Oh, you shoot, have oh, even darn. Said, yeah, you could have even said <laughs> Timothy Chalamet at a CP what? But instead you said Timothy Chalamet at a California pizza what? <laughs> well, a CP could be anything. That could be... Children police, that could be God, don't Cincinnati. get me started on the children police. <laughs> oh, no. Don't that, get me started on the children police. Are they police. after you, Harley? I don't want to talk about it, but we are in a lawsuit. And yes, the children police are tough to deal with. <laughs> now, are these tough... are children who are cops? Or are Both. these... <laughs> yes, it's children who are cops that have a, a duty to protect other children. And also it's adults who are cops that have a duty to protect children. It's kind of like a bring your daughter to work type of thing. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. But they are vicious and they are mean. And I'll say it. The kids are worse than the adults in this case. The kids are worse than the adults. Well, probably because they have a vengeance because they don't like what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't a know why I I'm giving them gossip that they can eat up. I got a, a t-shirt that says a cap uh, A cap <laughs> All children cops are bad. Oh, a capab. <laughs> <laughs> are bad, too. Are oh, bad, yeah, that's good. Um, I got some gossip for you, Harley. Let's hear it, oh, Pam. Please. Uh, pull out your email. I'll send you guys an email right now. Oh, it's a picture okay. of me. You can't tell who the face is, but it's a picture of cellulite walking the beaches. It's cellulite <laughs> on a woman's thigh walking the beaches, and that's this gossip is for very you. very close. So here's two things I'm noticing here in this photograph. <laughs> it's very zoomed in, and it's yeah. very blown out. <laughs> <laughs> it's very blown out, it and it's very like, zoomed in, but yeah. it's maybe a member of the royal family. <laughs> You're twitching <laughs> so much. Well, I'm telling you, I'm a photojournalist. I'm not used to titles, but maybe it's a member of the, photo of the royal family. It, 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 and it's a it's a woman, so it's either Kate Middleton or Meghan Markle. <laughs> and this, I gotta say, this picture is maybe 32, 32 bytes. They you've zoomed in <laughs> so many. There's about 32 pixels in this whole picture. It and looks, it like, looks it was... like you've applied the contrast filter all the way up to 100. <laughs> it looks yeah, like it was so taken I... on a yeah on a Moto riser phone. <laughs> well, this is one of the ones I did on my volleyball excursion, where I I put a, a a drone on a volleyball and I threw the volleyball at the woman's body um, <laughs> to see if I could grab a picture of a little bit of cellulite. Then I take that one little bit of cellulite and I Photoshop it all over the woman's leg. So That's what I was going to say. This, this is does a feel volleyball like... hitting the cellulite so hard that it creates <laughs> waves. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing, Poppy. I can tell you in our industry. Can I ask you a question? Pat, Why did you put a drone on it? Yeah, that's my question. <laughs> the drones are so, there's so many sharp parts on it. Why didn't you use a GoPro or something else? I mean, it has wings on it. A GoPro doesn't photograph a woman's body the way you think it should. It's a drone really gets the curves of a woman. And that really sells for me. How much do you sell uh, one of your pictures for? So this pixelated image that I took of one little piece of cellulite that I that I made a pattern like all over the woman's thigh, I sold for seventy five grand. Holy Jeez. crumbs! Oh my! God. Yeah, page six, page six. I work with the big guys. I work with the big Who's guys. Who's the big guy? Um, Mr. Six, and he he's big time. I send him. I mean, listen. I've been in, I've been in my business for a long, long, long time. I, like they asked me if I wanted to open a Twitter account, if I wanted to go private, and I said, "What's that? I don't want to do that." 
Um, I tried MySpace back in the day. I didn't understand how to do gossip on MySpace. Didn't really know. So I, I, at the end of the day, I take my pictures and I send it to where I need to be sent. And then I wait for the wire transfer. That's it. Mm. Mm. I'm wow. kind of what you say is- old fashioned a little bit. It's fascinating you talk about the MySpace era. I would love to know how everyone got started. What was yeah. it? Mm. For me, it was the playground. I was <laughs> on the playground and I heard a certain story about a certain teacher <laughs> who was engaged in a certain alcoholic beverage after school hours. Now, I loved having this information. So I spread it all amongst the cafeteria, but I made them work for it. And that is what drew me to it. Can I ask you? Oh, yes, of course. Can I ask you a question? Sorry. Is all your secrets dealing with a celebrity getting food? (laughs) (laughs) It feels like from that story (laughs) and from everything else you've said, it's just a celebrity going to get food. Yeah, I want divorce. (laughs) I want plastic surgery. Give me something else besides a lunch. It seems like it just, I didn't realize it at first, but after you told me that story, it feels like everything. You don't have any. Yeah, I haven't heard about a a single uh, miswritten property license. I mean, there's (laughs) nothing interesting here. I've never put that together before <laughs> for me i hear what well, for example i'll get it the uh, just the other day i got a tip and it said um well i'll break from riddle format i'll give it to you raw it said that um uh uh, uh that harry styles was at the rei <laughs> with Meghan markle now, mm. I stopped dead at REI because that was what was so fascinating to me. I couldn't imagine that he'd be at that place climbing rocks even. And so it, I completely missed the Meghan Markle part because it's just so fascinating to see where these celebrities go. So what did you end up posting? I posted a certain scary styles. Okay. Was spotted <laughs> near a certain store for rocks. What be it? Tell me now. Yeah, see, that one is a little confusing because Aria is, is not a store for rocks. So, and the way, thank God, you're a, thank God you, you type all this shit out because when you deliver it like vocally like that, it's like you're passing kidney stones between each couple words. <laughs> but I remember saying... seeing this when the flower on it was so pretty. Yeah, the flower was so nice. <laughs> it was so beautiful. This one I was doing text-to-speech while racing to the doctor. So it wasn't quite as eloquent as the rest. Is everything okay? Oh, no. Not at all. I have a thing in my leg. I have something in it. I have some sort of bug in my ankle. Something is twittering. I hear this this twitching noise, and I'm feeling it vibrating. It's almost as if I have an ankle bracelet inside my leg, wrapped around my bone, just causing me endless torment. And so finally, I had to race to the urgent care because I couldn't take it anymore. Oh, my gosh. Wait, did but they, you guys did also they say what it was when they said it was a bug around your ankle? Did they say what it was no you know it's so funny because they sort of scratched their heads <laughs> and they said this is out of my depth and they gave me the number for a specialist and so i'm seeing her tomorrow she is located at the cia <laughs> and i am going to get this figured out good luck that is fun you should tweet that that's a good secret should I tweet it? I'm not on Twitter. Are That's you on a, Twitter? Well, this is a really good Everybody question. Everybody should get on Twitter. If you're not on Twitter, now is the time to get <laughs> on Twitter. That's the one correct thing you wrote. <laughs> <laughs> True. We love Twitter. I, what I will say is I think, you know, has anyone ever gotten in the middle of a story? This is a really interesting question here. Has anybody uh, gotten caught up in something and maybe they became the story? Or how did you not become the story, you know? Mm, mm. Well, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. For me, there was a situation, unfortunately, where I got in the middle of a story. Ian Armitage or Young Sheldon and Julia Butters or 
a young star, <laughs> okay. were hanging out getting ice cream. What's she from? She's from a lot of things like uh, 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 Once Upon a Time in Hollywood mm. and um, uh, Once Upon a an American Housewife and Tangled, maybe. Uh, mm. <laughs> oh, Edison. Tangled Baby, <laughs> the afternoon special. Tangled Baby, yeah, she's from Tangled Baby. It's <laughs> a great. It's when Tangled and the hot guy have a kid, and the baby gets tangled in the hair. <laughs> anyway, it's a. It's 127 hours with a baby and giant hair. <laughs> I love that movie. And That's she a good was film. Brilliant in it. She's yeah. brilliant in it. I have Anyways, some very interesting gossip about the uh, the the uh, above the line, below the line uh, credit order. <laughs> what the contracts? <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus who Christ! Who was fourth on the call sheet? It who would was blow fourth? your mind. It would blow your mind who was fourth on the call sheet. Who got the with and who got the and in the beginning? It would blow your <laughs> mind. <laughs> Anyway, I found myself in the middle of the story because they were getting ice cream and Julia Butters and Ian Armitage both got vegan ice cream and I yelled at them, why don't you get something with milk? <laughs> <laughs> so you Lisa. broke your cover. <laughs> why don't you get something and what, with what, milk? Whatever, whatever took you in that moment, was it just kind of a frustrating? I'm, I'm sick of these vegan flavors. <laughs> I'm sick of them. Why Holly, are the kids not getting milk? They need to grow. You. Holly, it Both sounds of like those you're kids are small. They need to grow. Get something with milk. It's good for your bones. <laughs> Holly, you're starting to talk like me. <laughs> no, I've always talked like this, I think. I can't remember. <laughs> so, yeah, I got in a lot of trouble for harassing children at uh, Van Leeuwen. Um, so, you yeah. Completely- <laughs> I found myself photographed everywhere going crazy TMZ junior man yells at kids. And I'm pissed they used the word kids because I was not talking to kids. I was talking to young stars. I would say, I, so I did get caught up. Uh, the reason I'm asking is because I definitely got caught up uh, one time. I uh, accidentally uh, uncovered a couple uh, uh legal gray areas in a document and uh it was kind of you know in our business it was it was kind of the hollywood inquisitors version of a watergate it was really serious and it was really <laughs> <No>. intense <laughs> it was really really crazy what happened I, oh boy i don't know if you guys are ready for this i hope you're not holding any magazines and i hope you don't have any valuable soft <laughs> ceilings because these are going right through them i have no a feeling promises. i have a feeling i'll be ready for anything the fuck you say <laughs> Okay, so here's what happened. So a specific executive at a very specific studio that was undergoing a merger. Uh, no. Yeah, so that's not even, that's not the shocking part yet. This is still the exposition. So so um, the, the executive that was in the middle of a merger um, actually was caught um, having um, off-the-record conversations with uh, the executive of a pretty privatized corporate company which is well i can't say but the holdings the holdings that that privatized company had were in uh direct conflict with some of the holdings that the new company that was being merged with it uh were uh uh, having so so there were some opposing uh products being merged together let's just say and this is pretty serious let's just say that you know if there was a, a company that ran a toilet cleaner and there was another company that ran a toilet dirtier now those are going to be in the same company. I'm trying so hard to solve this riddle, <laughs> but I don't think it's in my skill set. That it is reminds high me of my daughter Sudoku. <laughs> Your daughter is named Sudoku? No, it reminds me of the puzzles my daughter does called oh, Sudoku. Okay. What's her name? Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's just say... Why would I name my daughter Sudoku, you freak? I don't know. It sounds like a beautiful name to me. I, listen, I all I'm saying is uh, I, I figured it out and I ran it straight up the pole. I mean, Soho work. We only, we have a we have a little pod on the floor below Soho work. So I ran it around the pod. I ran it in a big circle and I took it <laughs> to my boss and I said, "You got to see this. This is about to be a colossal mistake." And uh, so we, all of your desks are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a circle, <laughs> and yes. you stood up and you walked around. <laughs> 
We call it run, running the clock. And you, you guys just got to take over the whole Soho Works area? Or is this no, a- no, no. This is a floor below Soho Works. So we can Great. get to, so it's just a good deal on distribution. We don't have to pay for uh, anybody to bring our magazines up a floor. You know, we do it ourselves. But it was it's really thrilling. Up. It was really crazy. And this and was the biggest so you, thing that's happened. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's just say, I mean, look, there's two companies that could be one company now, and they're not because of the things that we found. And Did you face uh, any repercussions? We did. We did. Yeah. Um, we we uh, were currently in litigation, and uh, 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 there is uh, uh, a couple uh, civil suits that I have to go to, and there's there's also some copyright claims that I have to redline and figure out uh, how to fix that. So. Oh wow! Wow! I know. Well, See, I now you're interested. No, now no, wow. interesting. no. no this just... is fucking bullshit. It's stupid. I said, <laughs> I said wow when you finished because I was relieved it was over. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Interesting. The only time I got involved in a story is I, 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 I sat outside in the sun for so fucking long in Cabo St. Lucas. Uh, I was waiting for the Olsen twins to walk by. And, and I fell asleep. Um, I fell asleep out there. Woke up. Woke up 12 hours later. Uh, the sun was going down. And sure enough, uh... Sure enough, Hillary Duff. This was same time as the Hillary Duff, the Olsen twins. It was all going on. Sure enough, Hillary Duff's mother was walking on that beach. I had become one with the sand. Um, was and she tripped over me, <laughs> and that woke me up. I got up in time and took a picture of Hillary Duff's mother's ass when she fell. <laughs> I made so much money off of that fucking photo. And thank God I fell asleep. And thank God I woke up. And thank God I tri- made a trip. Because I got the grossest picture of that woman's ass. And, uh, now, and how I think- did you make mo- Who bought that? Because she's not famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so once I did that, we we this is how my business works. is We had some collateral, right? So we thought if we could get Hillary Duff's face... When she sees the picture of her mother's ass on page six, then we got a double story. Mm. So I mm. camped outside of Hillary, uh, Hillary Duff's Brentwood apartment. We posted the picture of the ass. I took a picture of Hillary Duff, her jaw on the floor, freaking out. I, I was on top of her roof at the time. That was before I did exclusively beach stuff. Got the picture of her. We did boom, boom, boom. That was an incredible, but it's a different time now. If you take a picture of a woman after she fell and you say she looks fat, I'm too much. Mm. I can't do that shit anymore. It's Definitely. hard because she's all she's already fallen down, and <laughs> yeah, it's to, just not to, very nice. So yeah. yeah, I can't trip women anymore. I can't throw <laughs> balls at women anymore. I can't. I can't do a lot of things to the woman. So I just have to naturally take a picture and hope to God they look awful or good. Do you yeah. have to worry? Do you have to worry about sharks ever in your industry? I'm never. I, I've been in the water a little bit, but my skin. I have eczema, so I don't like being in the water. No, <laughs> oh, water get, aggravates eczema. My eczema does. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. No, I know. I'm actually remembering now. Your story reminds me. Were you the person in that viral video? Uh, it, it was. Oh, what did they call it? They called you sand pervert. <laughs> it was it. A, someone was filming you. Covered in sand, saying stuff like, turn around, sweet cheeks, stuff like that. Yes. <laughs> was that you? And that's all started with Hillary Duff's mother's ass. And it started Wait. there. And that's when I started doing sand pervert work to get stuff. And that was a short-lived world because I went viral and I said, I don't like this. I don't like being in front of the camera. And uh, I found people digging in the sand next to me to get me. Yeah, well, I you know, sand pervert is it's so funny. I hear I've heard of sand pervert, but because my son uh, is in a Boy Scout troop and he went on a overnight beach trip and they told ghost stories around the fire about the <laughs> yeah. sand pervert. Let me tell you guys, and I think this whole table, this is a good a good subject for us to get on. Sand pervert, which I I'm I've, I now very openly thank you, Poppy, talk about. But I'll say Sam yes, Pervert. I'm, I'm sorry to out no. you in this way. I'm no, just, I'm, I'm honestly you. starstruck. No, yeah, I'm I, I thought you. you were a myth. No, yeah, Sam it's... Pervert. Sam Pervert explains, and that's the spot in my career that I know all these people at this table have. When you took when you took gossip reporting too far, mm, and and yeah. you and you you were Icarus and you flew too close to the sun, 
Yeah. Um, and that's for me, Sam Parker. I wonder about what it was for you guys when you guys looked in the mirror and you said, "I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to put food on the table. I'm not trying to ruin people's lives." Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. I've had that experience. Uh, yeah. One time we posted um, <clears throat> Jacob Tremblay playing soccer, and it all kind of fell apart. <laughs> it mm. all kind of fell apart for us. Really? So yeah. That sounds yeah. like a pretty innocuous photo. Yeah, no, how'd you that think ruin so. Your life? You'd think so. It absolutely destroyed my marriage. Uh, mm. my kids don't talk to me anymore. And uh yeah. So um basically what happened was uh, I took a photo of Jacob Tremblay playing soccer. He was a little sweaty and the Mag T M Z Junior sent the picture out saying sweaty Jacob plays sweaty <laughs> soccer. And there was about 15 litigation cases that came from me. And my, my wife started questioning, you know, my line of work a little bit because people started showing up at our house going sweaty soccer, sweaty soccer, kind of yelling at us, sweaty soccer. So, yeah, that was kind of the, the beginning of the end for the relationship for me. So, yeah, so that's, mm-hmm. what, that's you know, it's, it's water under the bridge now, though. So, yeah, I, uh, I flew too close to the sun once when I uh, uh, accidentally uh, I, I thought I, I was posting a budget uh that uh (laughs) leaked from a studio and i accidentally it was turned out it was the uh all the uh lunch invoices for uh one specific executive at lionsgate at the daily grill in santa monica oh but that sounds like some juicy fucking gossip i'll tell you what well let's just say we had to buy another ceiling because (laughs) it was people were it was crazy it was really and there's a dance studio above uh uh the soho works and uh people that people... can't be a good idea <laughs> <laughs> people trying to work a, below a dance studio <laughs> you like can't stop terrible, the like... dancers you can't stop the dancers we all know that i, mean, I hope they don't do tap I, well i don't know i'm not a <laughs> member but you know i know that when it hit the ceiling it sent some of them flying and i think they <laughs> ran into a glass and i think somebody got glass in their head so it was crazy <laughs> In it was head. crazy. Did, <laughs> well, you ruin, one, did you ruin the executive's life? The Lionsgate executive uh, ended up getting promoted. So it actually helped oh. him. Because wow. it showed that he was putting a lot of money on the line for his clients. And it also showed his consistency. He would get a steak and a chicken pot pie every <laughs> single lunch. <laughs> That's so much fun. It was. It was. That and it is, just showed. I feel so ill thinking about that. <laughs> I know. My cholesterol be. just jumps. Well, they love consistency, right? Executive teams love consistency. So it's like, oh, we can bet on you. We can budget out a steak and pot pie uh, side for you. So we're going to ex- promote you because we know who you are. Poppy, have you ever uh, have you ever flown too close to the sun? Whose life I... have you ruined, Poppy? Because your blog is, y- your stuff is fucking, you've said some mean stuff. I have said some mean things. I, um, well, I once, you know, I, I don't feel good about saying this, <laughs> but I once said that a certain celebrity was at a certain type of Kevon store. Now, yes. <laughs> you got it much faster than Care most people do. Kevon <laughs> store? No, Caravan Store, it's like a German store. <laughs> it was actually named after German Chancellor Karen von Store. <laughs> now, I said that a certain Jonas brother was at this Caravan Store, and they did not want to be found. But the poppy herd followers, the ears to the ground, I call them my ears, Poppy's ears, they rushed to the place... And he was picking up some anti-anxiety medication. No. So he wasn't able to take the medication in time for all these people to (laughs) swarm him. And he had a panic attack. Mm, And that weighs on my conscience every day. Mm. I also got into a fist fight with the Dubois girl once. And that was... Well, what does she look like? in a certain fight in a certain sports supply store near 
a certain beach, not Billabong, the other type of store. I have no idea. Are <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, coming surf? to mind is Dick Sporting Goods or Big Five? Pacific Sunwear? <laughs> it rhymes with, well, let, let me tell you this. This specific <laughs> beach store might be a little silly to some. Tilly's? Leslie's Pool Yes, <laughs> it's Tilly's. Tilly, so you would constitute Tilly's a beach store? Yeah, I guess so. And Near both of you were there? <laughs> we gotta settle this. We gotta settle this once and for all. I have to know what the girl from Dumois looks like. We have to describe I, why, it. I why you were both at a Tilly's. <laughs> Yes. I fear for what my life like? describing the Dumois girl for you, but I will. <laughs> She's the opposite of short. She's the opposite of large. She's somewhere in the middle between nice and mean. <laughs> and this her is nose so hard. is the shape of a button. Opposite of that. Okay, and okay, okay, okay. When you ask let's what someone looks these. like and let's you say they're not nice and they're not mean. <laughs> First I, of all, I don't opposite of, yeah. Opposite okay. of short, tall. Opposite tall. of large, small. Small. <laughs> so she's tall, tall she's small. small. She's somewhere she's in between a, nice and mean, so no emotion. So <laughs> now you're getting it. Op, button nose opposite. Opposite. So opposite so, big big uh, nose well I guess. what's the opposite no what's the opposite of a button probably something that Zipper? you use to open something a can opener yeah I can't open a nose <laughs> you were getting so close with the zipper oh a zipper Her nose. nose has a little scar on it that looks like a little railroad track and I'll oh, tell you why the opposite of a button is a railroad <laughs> It's a railroad track because I grabbed whatever I could find to defend myself against the Dumois woman. And it was a little tech deck. And the wheels of that little tech deck were enough to drive a little bit of tracks through her nose and break skin. Wow. Wow. I hope to never see her again. She is the bane of my existence. (laughs) And I don't know why she's mad at me. Because she always gets the part of the story that involves the hookups or the breakups. I just tell them where they are. But yeah. she's very threatened. Yeah. It's a dog eat dog world out there. Have you ever felt threatened by other gossip mag personalities? <sighs> oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, Perez Hilton, a Meryl Streep of our time, right? Sure. Yeah, I would say yeah. Perez no Hilton is the like Meryl Perez. Strip, Meryl Streep of our time. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I I feel like I haven't been necessarily intimidated uh, by other news persons as much as I've been jealous. You know, mm. like I wish the Jonas Brothers were still young stars. I wish the Olsen twins were still young stars. I wish Hillary Duff was still a young star. My job would be so much easier. But no. They all grow up, you know? So you just wanted to chase the same stars over and over. I want to chase what's good. I want to give the kids... Sorry. Yeah, no, in this case, I can say kids. I want to give the people what they want, which is gossip about young stars. And these young stars today, they're so media trained. They're not doing anything embarrassing. They're not doing anything anything bad they're just hanging out getting ice cream i'm trying to make something out of this i've invested 50 million dollars into my bus (laughs) in my Mm -hmm. magazine and it's not going well yeah so yeah if anybody has any gossip anybody listening any gossip about young stars let me know you can reach out to me at tmz junior that's t-e-a-m-z-e-e underscore underscore junior the word junior underscore underscore at tmz junior.com that's t-e-e-a-m-z they can rewind it we don't need to go through it yeah yeah who gave you 50 million dollars who gave me 50 million dollars I Harley, you know what? You. <laughs> you should come. I could. I you can tell you. You should come with me to Kirks and Caicos, because I'm gonna be covering Kim, and she's got a bunch of kids. Are you interested in her kids? You can camp out at the beach with me. That sounds fantastic. 
I'm going to be in Turks as well. I could come hang out. There's a very exciting story developing at one of the offshore banks. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what? I'm off the, What's the, the edge of offshore, my seat. Offshore banks. That's actually interesting. What, do you, what is that it? Is, what is yes, that's something. So they're going through a, a logo rebrand. No, God. <laughs> no, God. <laughs> and they're, they're having a no. difference of opinion. No. And there's some budget discrepancies between how much please. certain graphic designers no, are going to please cost. stop please difference please, of opinion please, please tell me the font please tell me the font <laughs> yes or tell so, me how big the boobs are come on okay so i can't reveal any big font but it's i'll i'll do it in riddles it's oh the, please it's the opposite of times new roman <laughs> there's every font Ariel. is the opposite Ariel. of times new roman i think <laughs> Wingdings? No, it's sans serif. It's sans serif. It has it's to be Ariel. <laughs> it's Futura. Wow. wow. I love talking gossip and fonts. <laughs> well, it looks like we're going to go to Turks and Caicos. Uh, Poppy, you want to join? You got any gossip that's happening over there? Well, I have gossip that's happening at a neighboring island. It rhymes with banana split if you pronounce it crazy. (laughs) (laughs) Bahama? Bahama? The Bahamas? I know. (laughs) It was the Bahamas. It's the Bahamas. I'll be in the Bahamas. What part of split is the Bahamas? Well, I was, the word I was thinking of was boat. So split rhymes with boat if you have Bahamas a constant boat. clicking thing in your ankle that's completely undiagnosed and is traveling to your brain. That is how it rhymes. I don't think that you should fry with that. No, oh that God. might explode oh or attack God. you. Oh, I hope it does. If you pronounce I just want closure. Uh. Oh, God. You guys, if if you would, get, what's your biggest gossip wish <laughs> for your career? What are your goals? Do you guys have goals? I have no goals. I, I want to settle into something a little less... Uh, exciting my doctor says that i'm working too hard my doctor says that uh this line of work he he sees it in uh, formula one drivers (laughs) my vitals (laughs) he sees it in formula one drivers he sees it in skydivers so that's an adrenaline junkie huh you're you're going to a doctor for adrenaline junkie specifically (laughs) (laughs) yeah i am it's the only one covered by our insurance at the company so well that's why he's saying it's his only other clients are (laughs) those people when you say discrepancy and disagreements, my gossip badge dries up. <laughs> <laughs> that is nothing. I just want to know the before and after. I want a before and after picture of her body. Oh, I've got a lot of pictures. Oh, excuse me, docu signs. Excuse me, <laughs> scans. I have a lot of scans. So I can show them. But yeah, I, you know, I, I hopefully I'm going to settle into something a little less, you know, uh, hair pulling. Um, I'm, I'm I'm thinking of getting into some another field of gossip. Uh, maybe maybe one of your fields. They sound kind of easy. TMZ Junior sounds pretty easy for me. You have no idea how hard it is. Please you walk into a children's hospital on pace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Sounds not like the only you... place the tour stops. Thank you, but where do you I... park? Where do you park at the children's hospital? <laughs> In the emergency area. <laughs> You're parking a $50 million bus in the emergency area? It looks like an ambulance, so might as well park it where the ambulance is. Right, I forgot. It looks like an ambulance. (laughs) It has that that medical symbol that looks like an asterisk. It's a repurposed ambulance, and I shove the people in the back. Yeah, That's actually brilliant. I should dress up like like an emergency lifeguard person. Like like looking official. So you've never thought of that? No. You just thought of sand? You I just went thought straight of straight to sand. I, I, I sand and sticking cameras on balls. <laughs> what's your uh, gossip wish, Pat Fines? What's 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 oof. the dream gossip you wish you could find? I still am waiting for this. I wanna I've always wanted this and this will be this will be my egot. Um and then I'll call it. I wanna get a man with a woman walking the beach. She's famous, of course. And then I want their marriage to fall apart within a couple months. And I want to get that same man 
walking with a different woman on that same beach a month later. Mm. If I get that, if I get that, um, like a Glenn Powell, uh, Sydney Sweeney situation. Oh, yeah. Oh. That is my, that is my, like, biggest dream for my career. And once I get that, I'll be able to send all my daughters to Yale and just relax. Mm. How many daughters my- you got? I have two, Jenna and Sudoku. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Artist on Artist on Artist on Artist answering the question. Now that's why they call it showbiz. Good night. Artist on Artist on Artist on Artist is an improvised Hollywood Roundtable podcast created and performed and produced by Kylie Brakeman, Jeremy Colhain, Angela Giratana, and Patrick McDonald. Music is by Gabriel Ponton. The opinions expressed on this podcast do not reflect the opinions of anyone who works on it, not even the performers, because this is an improvised podcast and we're stupid. Full video versions of AOAOAOA are available on YouTube, so please like and subscribe and leave us a five-star review wherever you get your podcasts. Good night, Hollywood.